Welcome back. All right, so when you're defining energy in physics, it's going to be a very hard um, topic for you. And to be honest with you, it's a very hard topic uh, for me as well to be able to try to uh, transfer that knowledge to students. And so what is this energy? So once you start learning about work, and my assumption is that you're watching this video and you are familiar with work. So I can put up a link to the introductory work uh, video and you can watch others as well. Then once you grasp the concept of work in physics, uh, it is a little bit easier to be able to grasp energy. So energy is a scalar quantity, right? So it doesn't have a direction like force, for example, like velocity, displacement and several others. So it is scalar, work is also scalar. So both of them are scalar quantities. So they just have really a magnitude with a unit. Now, energy does have the exact same units as work. And what is this energy? Well, energy is the quantity that provides the ability to do work. So if you recall work, kind of in the simplest sense, is the application of a force. And that particular force will displace, so it will cause a displacement of an object. And if you know that, then you might be asking yourself, okay, so if that is really work, which is just force multiplied by displacement, there's a little bit more to that, but in the simplest sense, then where does this actually come from, right? What gives it the ability to be able to have a force and displace an object by a certain amount? So where is that coming from? Well, so that coming from is the actual energy. So energy is basically like a, a sitting item. You can think of it as a container. And you have this particular container and in this container, so what you have is inside of it, you can think of it almost like a liquid or you can think of it as food, which we certainly think about energy. Now it's just sitting there and what we're doing is we're taking this so that it allows us to do mechanical work. That's ultimately what we would like to be able to do. And that's what energy is. So energy is that it provides this ability to do work. And as your energy comes down, you are utilizing it for work. And you're gonna be able to use it as much as energy as you actually have. If you don't have any more energy, well then you can't really do any more work. Now there are many different definitions. Now I have put three in here and these you can search up on the web. So from Britannica to physics websites to physics textbooks, I'll put up some of the references okay, in the description. But these are all basically the same thing. You know, energy provides the ability to do work. Energy gives capacity to do work, which is just worded differently. Energy has the ability to displace an object under the influence of a force, which you may recall, that's just simply work. So if you want to do work, you have to have this quantity in your black pocket somehow so that you can take it and use it to do work. So that's what energy is. And now it has exactly the same unit. So for SI units, it's going to be joules or Newton meters, just as work is with regards to its definition, which is a formal definition that you have an equation. And you can have these energies in various different sources. You know, I drew it here in terms of a container that you have, but you're gonna have these coming out from various different sources, okay? Now, one of the initial ones that you will have is you're gonna be learning about kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy, especially in your introductory physics classes. Those are kind of two key ones. You might touch up on some other ones, 
in terms of energies which are coming from maybe chemical energy from bonds okay that are within so those are different types of potential energies that you have you may talk about nuclear energy okay so that goes even a little bit deeper on the nuclear side but it does not matter what you are actually taking this energy from but the whole concept that I would want you to understand is that energy is really the capacity to do work. It is a quantity that's there. You have a certain amount, so you can measure it in, for example, joules, although you can certainly measure it in calories as well. So there is a conversion ratio between one and the other. And then you can actually use that energy source to do whatever work that you have, you know? So if you think about it, even if you take a hammer and you wanna nail in the nail into a wall, right? Or into wood or whatever it is, you're going to transferring, okay? And you're gonna have this transfer of energy. So you have one form of energy, you're gonna make the actual hammer move. That hammer is gonna exert the force, okay? And then the nail is going to get displaced by a certain amount under that force and as you know so that is work where did it come from it came from energy where did that energy come from well it transitioned so if you were holding it or maybe a machine so transition it from there and then you can keep stepping back and back to see how this energy is actually transferred so there you have it energy provides the ability for us to do work thanks for watching we'll see you in a future video bye everybody